I sometimes do experiments just to try to figure out how things work myself and often uh, it's a learning process for me and then I'll take that information and pass it on. All I did here is I took a plate and put some yellow water in it. Yellow just shows up better with my camera and you can see a little better than clear water or blue water. Simply filmed with my high-speed camera. It, this is 40 times slower than real time. Just to show you the what's going on with the uh, mechanics of a of a tsunami. In this shot, I put a small piece of paper on the surface to represent a boat, and in the center, I put a drop of food coloring. And as the energy waves pass through it, neither of the objects moves. The waves of energy just transfer through it. You may also notice that the rings of energy, the, the, the waves, actually start spreading out and this tells me that they're actually speeding up slightly. And then as they get to the coastline, which is represented by the edge of the play here, they'll actually compress again and as they're slowing down, the rings are actually moved closer together. Then as it hits the coastline, you can actually see the waves of energy reflect back at itself. And this will occur over and over again. One thing that I didn't understand was how a tsunami can go so fast. And the best way to illustrate that is not with water, but with steel balls. Just like the water molecules are not compressible, these steel balls behave the same way, it's just a lot bigger scale. We can see what's going on a little easier. The ball is not going very fast, but look how quickly the energy got transferred to the ball at the end. It happens very quickly. This is 40 times slower than real time, remember. Now we've all seen the scientists on the news trying to explain how a tsunami works and everything, and none of it has really made sense to me until I did the steel ball test, and I can actually visualize how how it actually occurs now. I hope this helps you understand how a tsunami that happens in Japan can get to the United States in about 10 hours as fast as an airliner. Thanks for watching guys.